welcome back to my channel. Today is January 3rd and I will be filming for you guys 2021 setup flip through. I already made the setup like a couple weeks ago just because I needed to put in some information and whatnot. Um, in this video, you'll see me fill in and color the January 2021 set up. If you guys are interested in bullet journal videos as much as I am, then definitely go ahead and comment that below because I would, I could definitely do like monthly setups and plan with me's and stuff like that. Or I can just do live streams on Instagram if that's what you guys also prefer. I personally use my bullet journal for a plethora of things that includes school, YouTube, self-care, um, just regular journaling. Um, maybe you guys can join me this year with bullet journaling. I personally have been doing it for about three years now. Let me know what you think of that in the comments below. As always, follow me on Instagram just to say hey, what's up and see what else I'm doing and know whenever I upload. And make sure to subscribe to my channel because 56% of you guys are hey watchers. Just subscribe to my videos. You're going to watch another one. I know you are. Just do it, just do it. I'm leaving. Hey guys, so here I was just showing you my cover page. Just the start of something new. Um, very much High School Musical, thank you. <laughs> I use a lot of this wrapping paper, which is like for wrapping shipment and stuff like that. I thought it was very aesthetic. I've been seeing this all over Instagram and YouTube. So I just thought maybe I'd try it out. I have some resolutions and um, things I want to keep track of, like places I visited, books I read, and restaurants I went to. Here I just have the movies of the year and the rating that I gave them, and then I have my theme dump on the right. So I never run out of ideas. As I mentioned before, the theme of the month was going to be fireflies. Um, I did want to keep it very minimal and use as little amount of supplies as possible. So for the titles in this setup, I want to use somewhat of like a two-tone watercolor effect on my lettering for January. And I know these two colors don't really go good together, but I just did it. I wanted these two colors because it's the glowing of those fireflies. Like from my reference pictures, they were always this yellowy mustard and this lime green color. And here I'm just giving the letters a drop shadow to make them stand out a little bit more. Right here, I made a little bit of a mistake on the U. I didn't want the drop shadow to be on the left, so I took my Sharpie Whiteout pen, paint pen, and was going over it. And throughout this video, I had a bit of problems with this paint pen. I wish it worked a little bit better, and it pretty much dissolved whatever paper I put it on, including my black post-it notes, which you will see later. With this setup, I definitely experimented with a larger monthly calendar because I wanted more space to put all of my important dates in there. January is going to be a little bit of a busy month for me. I am starting the spring semester of college at FSU and I just want to make sure that I write everything down and I'm actually sticking to it. I didn't want it to be too cluttered and I want it to be a calendar where I could move things around if I wanted to and I wasn't really held by a bunch of lines. So I thought this was very cute and aesthetic and functional for me and down here at the bottom i just felt like the spread needed a bit more color like i said i usually do more fuller spreads um a lot less minimal than this but i just experimented and drew out some circles freehand nothing too serious i think you guys could really experiment with this if you're following along with me maybe get a little bit inspired
Moving on, we have a quote page on the left and a place where I want to put my lists on the right. I, my idea was just to put some regular lists, some small ones, things that would just help me focus my thoughts a bit more. And I really just wanted to experiment with some color and do some more filler pages. I know this is a minimal setup, but I just couldn't help myself. It's been a very long time since I've done a quote page like this. And Bob Ross is one of my idols. I absolutely love him. You can see again here how the paint pen wasn't really working all that well, especially not holding up against this um, black paper. So I ended up having to go in with some metallic Office Depot branded um, pens. This is just the silver color right here. Now we are on my weekly setups. I wanted to do somewhat of a Dutch door. So as you can see, I wanna be able to look at everything in the background while I'm doing my weekly setups. I also just felt like my old weekly setups had too much space in them. And I don't know, I know this doesn't allow for much interpretation and it's quite repetitive, the weekly setups right here, but I thought it was the quickest way to get my weeks down so that I'm constantly bully journaling and keeping up with that habit and then on the left i just have a little gratitude log and on the right i have a habit tracker and a period tracker I have a bit of a content planner on the side. It ended up not being enough space for me. So on the list page, I ended up using that as extra space. However, these spreads right here, they're just very um, detail oriented. I just added a bunch of little doodles because the space was like so small and I wanted to add as much color as possible. Only using two, of course, the same two Crayola Super Tips. I absolutely ended up loving this brush pen type of doodling right here. I think it added so much to the spread and it was very simplistic in a way that you could tell it all went together at the same time. I ended up pushing it over to this weekly spread as well, the last one of this month. And this weekly spread actually ended up being my favorite because I just kind of put everything together that was like my favorite elements from all the other ones. Not that I made any mistakes. I'm happy with the way my monthly looks. However, I, I think this one was my favorite weekly.
I'm actually tracking a bunch of habits this month on purpose. I just need to be better about what habits I'm doing or not doing. So yeah, that's why it looks a little bit full right now. And just like that, we're all done. All right, you guys, that is all I have for y'all today. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. What did you think? What are some things I can change? Maybe some things I can get better at? If you like me and you wanna see more of me, then go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and definitely click the like button don't forget to click the like because it helps more people see my video you can follow me here on instagram at simigreen underscore if you want to see more about my life and just know whenever i upload of course if you follow me i'm definitely keen on following back as well so don't even don't even worry about that one you guys don't worry and if you do follow me and you're from youtube make sure you dm me and let me know like hey i'm from your youtube video i love to hear about it i love to see it mama i guess that's all i have for y'all for now i'll see you guys in another video xoxo gossip girl <laughs> <laughs>